What's up everybody and thank you for tuning to this video where I'm talking about the life lessons that I've gained from traveling. I have an official series called the 11 life lessons that I learned from travel. You can go check that out on one of my playlists. I'll put a link down below. Um, but today I'm just sharing one of the other many lessons that I learned that I haven't like officially made into a life lesson but that I think is really true and I think it speaks a lot to the world that we live in. So that life lesson is that no one place is better than another. Now, a lot of people, you know, are passionate about where they come from, where they live, that kind of thing. Some people have stereotypical things, ideas, advice um, based upon like different parts of the world. Like maybe some parts of the world are dangerous, some parts of the world are beautiful, like different things like that. And through traveling, through experiencing a lot of different things, I realized that no one place is really better than another. Like every single place has some benefits and some negatives. And I have a very vivid example of this. And last summer when I went on my 80 day road trip, um, I wanted to go visit Mexico. And my dad was like, don't go visit Mexico. It's not safe. Don't go, don't go. I eventually ended up going to Tijuana, got to see it. I wasn't too impressed, so I left. I mean, but I did it and I didn't tell my dad at first, um, but I did it and you know, it wasn't that risky. It wasn't that like bad. And what was even more shocking, which made me realize this fact, this life lesson is that I went to Austin, Texas later on in that trip. I arrived in Austin, Texas the morning after there was a shooting and I luckily left the night before there was another shooting. So literally like the most unexpected places, the places that people wouldn't tell me not to go to was actually like a dangerous place. And so I've had numerous experiences sort of like that, maybe not with like life threatening experiences or like danger and that kind of thing, but everywhere you go has benefits and negatives. And so I also see that a lot when people ask me like, where should I travel to? It's like. Well, what is it like? It depends on like what you enjoy doing. Like, what is it that you're passionate about? And so, I just really want to get across <clears throat> that. Sorry, you want to get across that message that no one place is better than another. You might have bias towards it, you might have passion for it, you might really enjoy it for this reason or that other. But don't discredit anybody else's what they say about a place, what they think of a place, that kind of thing. Just take everything for a grain of salt. Do your own research. Think long and hard about it. Think about whether there really is a risk for you or not and then kind of make decisions based off of that. So if you guys have any, if you guys have any stories like that that you want to share, I would love to hear them. If you guys have any comments or questions about these videos that I'm making, maybe what I should talk about next, because right now I'm just doing topics that come to me as I think of them or as you guys request them. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Find me on whatever social media floats your boat. Send me a message. Just let me know how you're liking it, if there's something I can do better, whatever it is. Um, so I'm here to serve you guys. That's really what I want to do. I want to help Part of my Young Travelers movement is helping people realize the trip of their lifetime on any budget. So whatever I can do to help you out, let me know. I'm here for you. And if you could share with somebody, share this video with somebody you know, because I can only reach as many people as all of you share with others, because I can't just keep asking the same friends. It's, that doesn't do anything. So please share with somebody you know. Leave a comment. Let me know what, how it's going. And uh, I will catch you all in the next video. High five.